ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे आई हैव रिसीव्ड दिस मदरबोर्ड सो लेट मी शो यू सो दिस इज द बोर्ड नंबर 10263-1 इट इज फ्रॉम 1450 समथिंग लैपटॉप मॉडल इज देयर डेल इंस्पिरोन सो एज यू कैन सी समवन हैज वर्क्ड प्रीवियसली ही हैज ट्राइड टू चेंज दिस आईसी एंड दिस इज 5 वोल्ट एंड 3.3 वोल्ट सेक्शन ओवर हियर एंड ही हैज चेंज दिस आईसी ओके so let us first check its conditions because i have diagnosed it so let me just check our dc supply is set to 19 volt and let me just turn on as you can see after turning on it's directly rating uh, taking 420 milliamps and our this light is glowing and my processor is also heating but if i show you some voltages as you can see this is 5 volt coil which is over here okay let me keep it like this okay so now you can see okay it is visible or not it is not visible okay okay 5 volt is there then we will check for 3.3 okay 3 point also 3.3 point also okay then this is VTT CPU VTT 1.7. Let's check for core. Core is not there, so we will check for DC to DC section. This is 1.8 and this is RAM supply over here 1.5, which is also okay. So we have these two MOSFETs. This is for 5 volt, I think. Okay, let's check. Okay, as you can see, this is for 5 volt and this is for 3.3. So this is uh, this is always say, oh, voltage is coming to these MOSFETs and out is 5.056 for 5 volt and for this 7.04 means our run supply are having issues means this mosfets are not passing run supply okay so i need to trace its gates and search out the problem why it is not passing uh, run supply is not passing over there means always to run is not going as correct means it should pass 5 volt to 5 volt and 3.3 to 3.3 but it is not passing correctly so let me just diagnose so we were working on this motherboard so right now i have made a jumper so in this motherboard we were not having run supply so let me show you something just wait for okay as you can see these are our two mosfets 5 volt run mosfet u4201 and 4203 okay so uh, we have to trace out its gate and as you can see gate is going to r4 4210 and 4207 okay and here we have a voltage divider circuit this is the 15 volt always supply which is as you can see this is 15 volt always supply which is coming to this register and this is r1 this is r2 and okay like that something okay so when i diagnosed this 15 volt was missing so let me just show you so this is the section we will find this two diodes uh, four diodes near your uh, 5 volt 3.3 ic so as you can see so how this circuit works this is voltage uh, quad uh, quad puller circuit okay actually so what happens uh, 5 volt comes over here so for initially this 5 volt will come this diode will be in uh, diode will be act as a forward bias uh, bias and it will be come here after that this 5 volt will be charged and then Uh, this uh, 5 volt will be passed to this and here at output of this uh, uh, here you will get 10 volt why because first of all this capacitor will hold the 5 volt initial 5 volt then after second uh, cycle will be there at that time it will hold another 5 volt and 555 it is 10 volt over here then like that you will get at output 15 volt at this point so i was not getting so i just did a jumper from this wire to okay let me show you where 
to this register as you can see so let me show you so these are two diodes which i have said i have just this is first diode at output of this i was getting 10 volt so i just made a jumper from that to that register r4205 as you can see i have shifted that register and after shifting i have just made a jumper so now let's check whether our motherboard is powering on successfully or not so just let me turn on as you can see it is taking 17 16 milliamps okay let me ground one probe let's take another probe and just short okay as you can see our motherboard has started powered on successfully okay we have this and we have supplies okay this is core supply as you can see 75 okay this supply is also available 0.80 okay so we have successfully repaired our motherboard 1.3 so this was in today's case study where we have just made a jumper because our uh, 15 volt always section was not working fine so i have just made a jumper and we have repaired our motherboard